Hey everyone, Izzy out here at the 2021 Florida RV Super Show, Tampa Ooh. RV Super Show. I'm here with Steve from Forest River. Behind us is the new River Ranch. This is a fifth wheel that is making a lot of waves in the fifth wheel industry. And Steve is gonna to explain to us why this is such a special fifth wheel. All right, so we are in front of this massive fifth wheel. I think it's like 42 feet. And Steve is gonna take us around to show us some quick highlights. How you doing everybody? Well, this is, a, this is a whole different type of concept and we've been working on it for about two years. And uh, you know, we released it uh, late, late June, early July and uh, it's been worth the, the wait. This is the first full basement fifth wheel in the, in the industry. And it has tons and tons of storage, full basement underneath. And uh, how we achieved that is we, uh, we pulled the AC system off of the roof and we went to a residential two ton AC system. So to be able to give you all that storage, we had to incorporate a lot of composites. So the, the great thing about composites is you don't have to ever worry about mold, mildew, and, and wood rot, and it reduces the weight. So you can actually use all this storage underneath here. 480 square feet of storage underneath here, and this is all composite underneath here. You don't ever have to worry about anything rotting out or anything like that. And you can put 4,000 pounds of storage. That's a lot of storage in, in a fifth wheel. Unbelievable. And I don't know if the camera is really giving you uh, how massive this is. I'm gonna kind of try to show you a little bit. I'm not 4,000 pounds, right? But yep. you can see in here, I mean, there's a massive amount of storage in here. And what's really cool about this is that you're able to achieve this without having those steps inside. And we're gonna look at that a little bit later exactly. when we walk inside. Now you have the full body paint on this one. Is that a standard? Is it, that... It's an option, but we, we, don't, we don't take advantage of you on it. It, it only adds about, about $8,000 in the cost of the unit. Generally, if you look at a, a decent pusher, it'd be 15,000. And in our opinion, that is well worth it because if you've been in those RV parks and you see one of these fifth wheels or a travel trail, whatever it may be, after a couple of years, they start to oxidize and they look really bad. But if you have a full body paint job, it's always gonna look good. Yep. And folks, this isn't, this isn't a traditional fifth wheel build. Even the slide outs are composite floor. And it's the only fifth wheel in the industry that has a composite floor on it. And if anybody's ever had a, a, a slide out have a bad floor on it that's rotted out, it's a ten dollars to $15,000 repair job. You never have to worry about that. So a, a, a number of the features on this that you're going to notice is it has metal wrapped awnings, which again you generally don't see until you, you hit a quarter million dollars on a, on a diesel pusher. You have hydraulic six point level up on the unit. You have G rated tires. You have more ride CRE 4000 suspension on it. You have 8,000 pound axle standard. Folks, go out and check and look and see what we're looking at. Everyone else is 7,000 or 6,000 pound. 8,000 pound axles on this. You also have a trail air, air system on it for your hitch that it has an airbag on it and a gas shock on it. So not only is it gonna take care of the boom, boom, boom in the back of your truck, but it's gonna take care of the up and down too. Some other nice things that we do with this, you got JBL sound system with a subwoofer. JBL speakers are even on the outside of the unit. Inside, beautiful music comes out of that. You got a receiver on the rear, just in case you want to put a bike rack or you want to tow a boat behind it. So what's the, uh, what's the rating on that tow Three, 300 pounds okay. is what you can put on it. Now and this is the real Yep, this is the special thing going on over here. Yep, you got a power cord reel, so you don't have to take in, in a 30-foot cord, you don't have to take and try and bundle up and carry wet, muddy, and, and put it and take that up your no storage. That is no fun, especially if it's cold out. It's gonna reel up right here with this switch and take it right in. That's 16 feet, six inches, from the rear door all the way up to this point right here. So if you're a kayaker, this is the unit for you. This is absolutely massive. Uh, for the ladies out there, if your husband is not behaving, you could throw him in the basement That's also. That's right. Plenty of room. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a whole house water filtration system, 
for all of your connections that's easily labeled, color coded, and will tell you everything you need to know, whether if you're dry camping, you're hooked up, how you take and clean your tanks out, and they're gonna keep you with clean water. And then this right here, it's wired for solar. And what, that's, what that tells you, not only is it wired if you just wanna put a little trickle charger outside and keep your batteries charged all the time, but it's also ported to the roof for upwards of 300 watts of power. So you're not putting that huge expense of going in and saying, I want solar and they have to wire everything. It's already pre-wired for it. You just gotta buy the panels and the monitor. And this is also prep for a generator and you have so much room in the basement that if you wanna start putting a battery bank in there, you're not gonna lose very Tons. much. We'll walk around and take a look at that. Here's another big thing. On demand water heater by Gerard. Top of the line, again, you don't see this until you get into the big diesel pusher stuff, but we're putting it on a fifth wheel. Continuous hot water. You can take a regular shower, not an RV shower. Now we're on the subject of water. What is the uh, capacity as far as tanks on you've this? Got, you've got 75 gallons of fresh, you've got 80 gallons of gray capacity, and you've got 50 gallons of black capacity. Okay. Now I wanted to point to this, not only does it have an on-command system by LCI that you can run off of your screen, you can also pull, download the app, run your slide outs in and out, you can run your jacks, you can adjust your lighting, there's a whole bunch of things you can do. But to back that up, we actually take and hardwire it in too, so if maybe the screen goes down, you can actually bring your slide outs in, awnings in manually. So you never have to worry about if an electronics goes down, you can do it manually. Also, always good to have the manual backup. When we were talking about how much room we have for generator, you're already prepped out, you're actually pre-cut for the pan here. We actually put nice, real, real nice battery trays with ven ventilation here, so you can put some nice lithium ions in here. But because of the engineering of the big basement storage, this is the largest compartment you'll ever see on a fifth wheel to put a generator in and stack batteries on both sides of the generator. You can't do that in a tr traditional fifth wheel. If you add a lot of solar, you're gonna be taking up your storage this you don't have to worry about. So here we are in the, the 390 RL River Ranch, and what you're gonna notice first is the most, uh, the most unbelievable space in an RV for 42 feet. And when I say that, if you, if you look at anything else out there in this length, whether it's a motor home, a diesel pusher, 10 feet, it's the front dash area, windshield, generator, engine, filters, and that takes up like 16 feet. We have 42 feet of flush floor in this unit. So when you look at the kitchen, you got a real kitchen. If you like to cook, you've got four huge prep areas. We can put a residential range in, a big microwave, 23 cubes of refrigerator with an ice maker, a chef sink, and if anybody is using a sink and actually does their dishes in an RV, you are set up with stainless, really nice sink. stainless steel and a nice cutting board. You have ceiling fan. Not only do you have a ceiling fan in here, but you have one in the bedroom. And when you think of traditional fifth wheels, because of the gooseneck and stepping up and going up those stairs, you have no room to put a ceiling fan in. You got a ceiling fan above your bed. JBL sound system. You got MCD shades, both night and daytime shades. Bathroom's gonna blow you away. This is a two-person shower with a teak seat in it. This will hold 300 pounds. Plenty of room for people six Plenty foot of room. or above. Dual porcelain sinks. All this room here to put your hair dryer, your curler, your makeup. You can't find that in any traditional other RV. Porcelain toilet. Then you walk into your king suite. You got a king size bed. You have a fireplace with heat, 5,100 watts, or 5,100 BTUs of heat. You've got an entertainment television. When I say it's entertainment television, if you want to hook up your Fire Stick or your Hulu or Roku or your Apple TV right off the front, it even has a tuner in it if you want to listen to radio off of it, and it has a speaker surround sound system off the front of it. If you want to wash and dry, this is where it goes. We make it easy. It's all prepped. Here's the big one. We prep it for venting. So if you want to wait 
two hours to dry your clothes. Don't put a vent in it. <laughs> we put it in for you. It's going to work just like home. You can put a full size stack washer and dryer in here. And then tons of closet space. You can hang it. Put your shoes in here. If you have a if you have an iron board like iron stuff, we, we take them put a nice little cut out here so you can put stuff across long in here. And here again, here's your ceiling fan above your bed. Large king size bed, windows, really well. Not 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 we, we don't do anything cheap here. Even the bed base is framed in aluminum. This is a quality unit, a lot of composite, a lot of aluminum. It is built to take you for your dreams for life. All right, Steve, thank you for that great tour. So this is a 42-footer. Yes, What's a 42 the weight, uh, the uh, <clears throat> dry weight on here, here? Here's the crazy thing. With all that room that you guys have witnessed, with all that storage, it only weighs 14,000 pounds. And it comes down to, to two years of engineering of this thing, all the composites. So we gave you the storage. You had to have the cargo carrying capacity. So you got 4,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. The great thing is the price on it. With full paint here at the show, we have it for $93,000. That's the starting point, folks. You, you negotiate off of that. But for full paint, $93,000. If you don't want it with full paint, we got one right over here for $86,000. With all of those bells and whistles, you will not find a fifth wheel equipped or engineered or made this way. Yeah, so we've been on a bunch of fifth wheels, both from your intro level up to very high end, far more expensive than this one. This is a very unique and different floor plan. I'm sure you guys will be getting copied soon. <laughs> so, uh, Steve, thank you for that detailed tour. In the comments below, if you own a fifth wheel, what do you own? What do you think about this new fifth wheel by Forest River? And for myself, Steve, and MJ, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road. Thank you very much.